Hey, my name is Matt. I'm a full-time seller of clothing on eBay and Poshmark ostensibly, although sales have been absolutely flatlined. So I sell men's clothing on eBay and I source my stuff at overpriced Goodwills in Los Angeles. And this is what I bought. This is stuff that will sell either very, very quickly or for a significant amount of money. I started picking up this brand per the recommendation of another channel called Thrift Fever, which you should check out if you're not familiar with it. Everlane, I just started noticing yesterday or the day before and I picked up my first piece and then I got this one today and this second one. They're the same model, just a pocket t-shirt, they have a knit fabric. This was actually gifted to me by another reseller that I ran into at that Goodwill. It's very nice. It's always a good idea to make friends with other resellers. I've found that they are typically very helpful people with some obvious exceptions. About 10% of them are shitheads, but the rest of them are great and worth having as allies. And that's a great strategy. Actually, I have done that with other resellers. I, I will just give them stuff. Um, and it's a great way to break the ice. You just say, hey, I noticed that you're a reseller. I noticed this particular item. It doesn't fit my business model. Are you interested in having it? Like I found a Lululemon thing, a pair of yoga pants that I didn't want to bother listing, et cetera, stuff like that. It's a good way to, to build a bridge. And uh, that's, that's what happened there. Vince is not, it's kind of like John Barbados. It's not a universal buy. Not all, all of the stuff sells quickly, but these Henley shirts do. I talked about this in my last video. This is a Henley. This is a proper Henley with buttons. So long or short sleeve, those are both Henleys. I found a lot of linen stuff at this thrift store today. I don't know why. Sometimes you just find a bunch of a particular kind of item. This is 100% linen. We're still not in linen season, but we're getting into it. And like I said in the last video, I'm just trying to invest a big chunk of money in inventory now. And I know from experience that this stuff will end up selling. This is another 100% linen short sleeve shirt from a brand I haven't talked about before because I don't really buy it that much. I've found that it's kind of an erratic brand. I, I've only bought it a couple of times. Some of the stuff flipped right away. For example, a 100% linen shirt that I bought a while back flipped almost immediately. But I had a couple other cotton shirts, button down shirts, or button up shirts rather, that sat for much, much longer. Their patterns are all over the map. They have these really loud shirt designs and I think you have to kind of have an eye for what's good and what isn't. This is a slim fit J Crew 100% linen button up gingham I think this still counts as gingham plaid. I could be wrong. That could be window pane plaid. I'm not totally straight on my plaids. Shirt. J Crew stuff that has modifiers attached to it like slim fit or linen, those keywords tend to have really high sell through. As another example, this is a slim fit Oxford. I think I had one of these in my last video. That's an Oxford, a button down collar, button down versus button up because it buttons down on the collars. That is, I think for sure, a window pane plaid. Here's the receipt. I got more stuff. It, it was a total of 69 bucks, 38 cents at this one Google. I've been staying away from their shirts, their button down shirts, unless there's something real cool. This was a pink fleece or magenta fleece that I got for seven bucks. All of those shirts pretty much were six or seven bucks.
This might be worth a little bit more. Because it's from this brand, which I have seen once or twice before. It's a medium. Don't know if it's a women's or a men's. Probably a men's. Lazy Oaf stuff, I guess, sells okay. We'll see. Bonobo's plaid flannel shirts have sold awesomely for me. So I decided to roll the dice on just a basic button down cotton shirt. We'll see how it does. Should do well. Speeding up because my camera is running out. Oh, battery. This is a Xenia 100% linen button up shirt with flip cuffs. That's what it's called when there is a design that contrasts inside of the cuff. And if you see that same phenomenon, oh, look at that, it's a flip collar too. Also a flip collar, flip cuff and collar. Good keywords. I actually don't buy Xenia shirts for the most part because believe it or not, they tend to sit around for uncomfortably long, but that linen stuff is good. This is an interesting, not very common, strange Adidas skateboarding jersey. I think it's a European thing. I know nothing about it, but there are comps. There's only two actives and one sold comp for this. The sold was around 70 bucks, and the actives are also pretty high. This was in my buy on site video. Cinch is great. I rarely find it. The logo is a guy riding a cowboy riding a horse inside of two laurels. This is a snap button shirt, and that'll do great. Before the camera runs out of battery, I want to mention I have an old friend who actually showed up in my comments, and serendipitously, he is also a reseller. He buys used cars off of Craigslist and soups them up and flips them. And it's a big surprise because he, when I hung out with him, he didn't know anything, he wasn't a car guy. And I mentioned that and he said, yeah, he just taught himself how to do this from scratch because he needed a way to make money. And it's really impressive, he's really good at it. His channel name is Cars and Cash and I'll put a link in the description, so check him out. It's really interesting, it's not something I know anything about, and it's not something I think I'd be that good at, but um, good videos, very informative, so, so check them out. Uh, also, I wanna say thanks for all the feedback on my, my video about troubleshooting this photo setup. It's really pretty incredible, the volume and the detail of help that I got from people, and I'm, I'm really quite um, taken aback by that, so I, I really, very much appreciate it. I got a long email uh, from a friend suggesting that I buy one of these. One of these lenses. I have not actually tried it yet. I bought it from a guy on offer, a really friendly guy, today, this morning. And that might make a difference. If this doesn't make a difference, I think what I'm gonna do is just take the majority opinion terms of what the best advice is and upgrade my iPhone 5 to a better phone that has a better camera built in instead of doing it the hard way with DSLR and buying fighting equipment. Apparently phones are just much easier for a lay person and maybe I'm just making it hard on myself but we'll see. If this works I'm going to shoot a full photography tutorial video about my setup because it is crazy how much work and effort and thought and trial and error has gone into trying to get good product photos for clothing on eBay and there's not a lot of stuff written up about specifically doing this kind of clothing photography for specifically eBay and the stuff online on YouTube is all really generic advice about buy my shitty umbrella light for my affiliate link and you'll be set. So I want to do that. Also on a broader more distant horizon, I'm thinking about maybe putting together a free series of videos, like a, a training course for brand new sellers 
just the basics, which I don't talk about on this channel, of how to go from not knowing anything about clothing or how to sell on eBay to being able to make money at it consistently. Obviously, I'm not the world's authority on this. I am still a relatively new full-time seller, and there are people, many, many people who are much, much better at it than I am, but most of the most of those products and those training courses either have to be assembled piecemeal by watching a huge volume of videos, which is a good idea anyway, or it's all behind a paywall, which is just, um, is, is fine, but is, uh, I, I think there should be an option. I think there should be a free option. So is that something that you would want to see or that you would be interested in seeing? If so, say yes. If no, tell me no. Or, you know, do whatever you want. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.